Now we're continuing the conversation with State Senator John Whitmeyer. Good morning, Senator. Thank you so very much for joining us. First You're off, welcome. why a walkout? And tell me why you feel it was so important to stay in Austin. Well, uh, why a walkout? Obviously, the, you'd have to talk to those who walked out. But having done that as a young state rep, for one day over redistricting. Then in 2003, we went to Albuquerque. It's a very individual decision. Obviously, there's peer pressure if you're in a Democrat caucus. Uh, it's, a, it's a personal decision. Where can you make the strongest statement? And how do you use your influence to the best of your ability to represent your district and the people of the state of Texas? Uh, first of all, the House left, and uh, it's pretty darn hard to pull off 50-plus people to leave. It'll be very interesting to see if they can sustain that. Uh, the Democratic senators chose to go support that Republic, uh, Democratic group of House members. They wanted to meet with the leadership in Congress and uh, the Vice President. Now, as I just said, it's a very personal individual decision i weighed all of my options we not only had the election bill on the senate floor yesterday that passed i believe we made that bill better by being there and fighting for uh availability of access to the polls uh, but also we had bell bond reform on the senate floor yesterday we had committee meetings the day before on transgender athletes I chose to use my influence on the Senate floor to debate those important issues. One, because the House had already broke quorum, so breaking another quorum in the Senate, really essentially other than making a statement, would not accomplish any parliamentary uh, procedure benefits. Uh, if I'd have left, there was still going to be a quorum because we had three Valley senators said they weren't going anywhere. So I weighed my options. I've been in contact with those in Washington, but I believe that we needed to talk about the election process. Let me just make something real clear. This is a new issue. I've been in the legislature 48 years, 10 in the House, 38 in the Senate. None of my Republican colleagues who I work across the aisle with have ever brought these issues before us. It started after the November election when you really challenge them to show where was the fraud? Where was the fraud in the Harris County drive-through balloting or 24-hour uh, polling uh, voting? Uh, it's, it's just real difficult. Now, can things always be improved? Yes, but there was strong resentment about some of the innovation that Harris County used. Didn't hear much complaints before we got to Austin because of the virus. People wanted to social distance. Uh, convenience of voting was certainly emphasized. So I personally think we need to have a grown-up discussion. Voting should not be partisan. It's a very, quite frankly, sacred process, very private. And there's some provisions in the proposed Republican reforms that concern me. The, the activity of a poll watcher. When you go into a poll, it's very private. You don't want anybody to know how you vote. If you ask for assistance, it ought to be given. But to have a poll worker that is often from out of the community in which you're voting, it could create some real uh, confrontations, which I'm concerned about. Uh, Senator, I don't mean to interrupt you, but I, I do want to try and uh, get in a, a question here. Uh, no, the afraid. governor has threatened to arrest all of those who have left. <laughs> What, well, first charge, of all, what, governor, what charge is there? The governor can't arrest anybody. Uh, the governor has no authority. And, and there's part of the problem we've got. There's too much rhetoric going around. We need to calm down, get back to the Senate floor, the House floor, and debate. And quite frankly, I don't even think we need to be in a special. Special should be for unfinished business. I'm for less government involvement in our lives. If you looked at the list of things we're taking up this summer, it looks like a regular session. But the speaker has already put out the order. There's the authority, the House leadership, that they will be arrested if they don't come back. They can't be arrested in D.C., so you probably won't 
uh, see them return to Texas, but there's too much politics going on. This is the time to govern. Never before in my career have I seen an entire session spent on political issues instead of governing. We need to be talking about education and mental health and transportation, flooding. We haven't even mentioned flooding this session. So anyway, um, I'm, I'm anxious for everybody to sit down and work together. Senator Whitmire, thank you so very much for joining us this morning and uh, sharing your thoughts about what's taking place in Austin. Anytime. I'm always glad to talk with you. Thank you, sir.